Hey, I'm Alan. Welcome to Bros Fitness. Welcome to today's yoga. My goal is not just to create some videos, but to inform and motivate you. So comment, subscribe, or follow along at brosfitness.com. Today we'll be, going, we'll be going through a naked yoga sequence. Feel empowered to shed what feels comfortable. As well, I invite you to wear underwear, undergarments, whatever feels comfortable to you. Remember, this is your practice. Today we'll move through asana and pranayama intended to cultivate a sense of belonging. I respectfully request everybody turn off your videos and mute your mics so that everybody can see and hear me clearly. If you don't have a towel or some blocks, now would be a great time to grab it. When you're ready, we'll meet on the floor in a comfortable seated position. Calm down to the floor with your legs crossed. When you're ready, meet me in a prayer pose with hands in front of heart center. We'll begin today's practice with three alms. Inhale. And as you exhale, alm. Inhale. Alm. Inhale. Um. Release your hands down to the ground next to you. Open your eyes if you have them closed. Inhale, send your arms up. And exhale, press out to the sides of the room next to you, both your front and your the back of your mat. Begin to bring awareness to your breath, constricting the back of your throat and coming into ujjayi breath, feeling the sensation of the ocean waves in your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, send your arms up, come back into prayer pose, into prayer pose close your eyes and set an intention for today's practice. Inhale, send your arms up and exhale. Bring one hand, your right hand behind you, your left hand to your right knee. Look over your right shoulder or to the center of your mat or the room. If it's accessible for you, you can begin to look towards your nose or close your eyes. Inhale, extend through the crown. Exhale, twist just a little bit deeper. Inhale, send your arms up. Exhale, come onto the left side, left hand behind your body, right hand to your left knee. Close your eyes, look over your shoulder, wherever you're at. Take the same gaze on this side. Inhale, extend through the crown. Exhale, twist just a little bit deeper. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, now's a great time to grab your blocks or push your cat away. Go ahead and sit back onto your heels, coming into a thunderbolt pose. If you would like to bring your blocks underneath your sit bones to give yourself just a little bit more height, now would be a great time to do so. Press your palms into your thighs and close your eyes. Keep bringing attention to your breath. Inhale, send your arms up and exhale. Bring your right, your left hand over your right. Bring your right fingers to your left palm and come into eagle arms pose. Inhale, bring your elbow up just a little bit to bring it on the same level as your shoulders. Inhale, come out of the bind, send your arms up and exhale. Bring your right arm over your left. Plant your left fingers into your right palm. Bring your right, your right elbow, or your elbows up. Bring your shoulders down your back. Straighten from the coccyx all the way to the crown. 
Inhale, send your arms up. Exhale, remove your blocks. And we'll come back into child's pose. Move your legs wide enough to accommodate your torso. This is a wide child pose. Bring your hands out to the sides of your mat. If it's accessible for you, you can bring your forehead to the mat or bring the floor to your forehead by placing a block underneath. If it's accessible for you, begin to rock your head back and forth. Keep moving, inhale, come back to center with your arms. And as you exhale, begin to move your, arm, your hands to the left side of your mat. Keep breathing, keep noticing your breath. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, come onto the right side. Inhale, back to center, begin to walk your hands back to your, towards your knees coming up into a child into a tabletop pose plant your toes and walk your hands walk your fingers to face your body coming in for a little bit of a wrist stretch if you can see i'm just placing my fingers onto the mat beginning to move my palms towards the mat we'll stay here for two rounds of breath one Two, reverse your palms, press your hands into the earth, tuck your toes, and as you exhale, send your hips to the sky for downward facing dog. When you're ready, bring your heels up, drop your knees down, walk or jump to the top of the mat, and inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold over your legs, bend your knees. Inhale, send your arms up to the sky. Exhale, come down for cactus arms. Lift your chest up, bring your gaze up. Engage your lower belly and bring your lower ribs in. Inhale, send your arms up and exhale, release down for Tadasana. Face your palms towards the front of your mat, away from your body. Close your eyes. Keep focusing on your breath. If you've let your mind wander, now would be a great time to bring it back. Inhale, send your arms to the sky. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, press your palms into the earth. Step your left foot back. Bring your left heel down, come up for warrior one. Face your hips forward. Inhale, bring your right hip back, your left hip forward. Drop your hands down to your knee. Go ahead and switch your position, changing your focus, changing the view that you have. Bring your left leg forward into warrior one, your right leg, drop your heel. And inhale, come up for, for warrior one on your left side. Notice what it feels like to change your perspective in this pose. And when you're ready, kick your right heel back up, come down to the mat, send your left leg back, come down for chaturanga. And inhale into cobra. We'll take cobra first, not upward facing dog. Press your feet into the mat, your hands into the mat. When you're ready, tuck your toes, press your hands, all four corners of your hands into the mat. Exhale, send your hips to the sky for downward facing dog. We'll begin to pedal at our feet. Take an extreme bend in your right leg and straighten your left. Hinge forward for, for downward facing dog. Begin to wrap your biceps forward, your triceps back, making space for your shoulders. Switch legs. Drop your right, your left knee. Straighten your right leg. Press into it. Bring your try to bring your heel down to the mat. And if that's not accessible for you, just press 
as feels comfortable. Come back to center and downward facing dog. Bring your heels up, drop your knees, and walk or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, extend down. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, come into prayer pose. We'll stay here for two rounds of breath. One. Two. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, press your palms together. Come all the way down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees and come over your knees. Come over your thighs and press down into the earth. Uttanasana. Begin to straighten your legs. This feels comfortable. Feeling a stretch in your hamstrings. Press your palms into the mat. And when you're ready, send your left leg to the back. Tuck your heel, come up for warrior one. Exhale, press your palms into the mat, and we'll go ahead and switch to the other side, changing our perspective again, dropping our right heel down and bringing our left foot into warrior one. Left leg into warrior one. Relax the shoulders down. When you're ready, come down, back down. Send your left leg back, chaturanga. Knees, chest, and chin pose. Inhale into cobra or upward facing dog. Press into the earth, tuck your toes. Come over them, exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths. Here we go, one. Two. Three. Four. If this isn't in your practice today, remember you can always drop to your knees and come into child pose. Five. Heels up, knees down, walk or jump to the top of the mat. And inhale, halfway lift. Exhale down. Bend your heels, bend your knees. Fold over your thighs. Press into your hamstrings as you feel comfortable. Bend your left knee, straighten your right leg, press your right palm into the earth, and come up for a twist on the left side, centering your left hand up. Right hip back, left hip forward. Bring balance to your knees. Keep them on the same plane as your second and your third toe. Press your palm back down to the earth. Bend your left leg, sorry, bend your right knee, straighten your left leg, press your left hand down and come up for a stretch on the right side. Press your palm back down and inhale, come up. Exhale, press your palms together, come to heart center. Keep a micro bend in your knees. When you're ready, send your hands back up, inhale. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, bring your peace fingers around your big toe. Lock them in with your thumb. Bend your knees. Come out of this. When you're ready, press your palms into the earth and walk or jump your feet to the back of the mat. Chaturanga, inhale into cobra or upward facing dog. Come over your toes, press your hips to the sky, downward facing dog. This time we're gonna come into warrior two, send your right leg up, bring it to your hands, tuck your back heel at 45 degrees and sweep your arms up for warrior one, warrior two rather. Engage the lower belly. Engage the legs. Wrap your ribs in. When you're ready, we'll go ahead and switch to the other side. Bring your right 
foot forward, send your left foot out, bring your right foot to 45 degrees, and we'll find ourselves in warrior two. Bring your right heel up and windmill your hands down to the mat. Press your left leg back, chaturanga, and inhale into cobra or upward facing dog. Press your feet into the mat, engage the legs and the glutes, engage the core. Come over your toes, press into the mat, send your hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Five breaths, one. Two. Bring your gaze to your navel if it's accessible. Three. Four. Five. Send your left leg forward. Bring it up to your hands. Tuck your right heel back. Come up for warrior two. Stay here for two rounds of breath. One. Two. Sweep your arms down to the mat. Sorry, come back up to warrior two. We'll switch the grips on this side. Bring your left foot forward. Send your right foot towards the top of your mat. Bend into the right leg, straighten the left for warrior two. Knit the ribs in, engage the lower belly. Now when you're ready, sweep your arms down to the mat and we'll walk our left leg forward to our hands. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale down. If, if you have your blocks nearby, this would be a great time to grab them, bring the floor to you. And when you're ready, press your hands into the earth. Extend your left leg up for standing splits. Engage the left leg. Press all four corners of the right leg into the earth. I've come onto the highest side of my, my blocks. You can bring them onto the less broad side or the short side. Bring your left leg down. Extend down over your thighs. We'll go ahead and bring our right leg up for standing splits. Press your palms into the earth, hinge at the hips. Engage the inner thighs and the outer thighs by pressing through all four corners of your feet. Press into the, into the wall behind you. And when you're ready, drop your right leg down. Bring your blocks out, inhale, halfway lift. Extend from the coccyx all the way to the crown. Exhale down. Inhale, swing your arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, press your palms together for prayer pose. Notice if you've let your mind wander, bring it back to your breath. On your next inhale, send your arms up. Exhale, bring your right hand behind your body, your left hand in front, press your palms into the walls in front and behind you. Gaze at your middle finger on your left hand or bring it back towards the center of the room or back towards your, left, your right hand. Wherever you're at, keep breathing. On your next inhale, can you bring your right hip forward and send your left hip back? Engage through all four corners of both feet. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, we'll come onto the left side, same thing. Press your right hand forward into the wall, left hand back. Wherever your gaze was on the previous pose, bring it back. Find balance in your practice today. Inhale, send your left hip forward, your right hip back. When you're ready, inhale, come back to center. Exhale, bring your palms in front of your heart. Close your eyes.
say aloud with me, I am enough. On your next inhale, send your arms up. Open your eyes. Exhale, press your palms together and come down to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale down. Press your palms into the earth and then jump or walk your feet to the back of the mat. Come down, chaturanga. Inhale into cobra or upward facing dog. If you're with me in upward facing dog, make sure that your legs are engaged. Bracing the core and the glutes. Come over your toes, press into the mat, send your hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Inhale, send your right leg up and bring it to your hands. Come up for warrior two. Hinge your right hand forward and tuck your right elbow onto your right knee. Swing your arm up and come into extended side angle pose. Feel energy radiating from your feet as you press all four corners of the back foot into the mat. Bring your, your fingers together on your top hand. Feel openness in the chest as you bring your left shoulder back and down. When you're ready, come back to center. And we'll go ahead and switch this pose. Send your right legs parallel to your mat. Send your left foot forward for your two on your left side. Tuck your left elbow as you hinge forward. And go ahead and sweep your right arm up for extended side angle pose. Stack the ankle over your, your knee under your knee rather. Press back into all four corners of your right foot. On your next inhale, can you notice anything that you're holding onto that's not serving you currently? As you exhale, can you get deeper into the pose? Inhale, sweep back up to center. And exhale, sweep your hands down to the mat, come down, send your left foot back, chaturanga. And inhale into cobra or upward facing dog. Press into the earth, come over your toes, center hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Send your left leg up and bring it to your hands. Tuck your right heel down, come up for warrior two. This time, we'll go ahead and either bring a block to the inside or outside of your ankle. I'm gonna take the inside of my right, of my, my block inside the left of my ankle. From here, we'll come down and press either into our shin, placing our hands on the block. And when you're ready, begin to straighten your leg and we'll come into Trikonasana, triangle pose. Press all four corners of your back foot into the earth. Feel openness through the chest as you extend your right arm up. Ensure that your joints stack both shoulders, both wrists. Begin to find a bend in your left leg. Sweep your arms back up to warrior two. Go ahead and take the same changing perspective as we had before. Left leg, left foot parallel. We're at 45 degrees as you swing your right foot forward and come into warrior two. As you're ready, bring your block to the inside or the outside of your foot. You can rest your hand on your, above your knee, on your ankle, or on your block. Here we go. Hinge forward. Find your block. Stack your joints. Bring your left hand up. And extend through the right leg. Trikonasana. Keep breathing. As it's accessible, inhale. And move your shoulders down your back. But keep your joints stacked. Knit the ribs in, engage the low belly. When you're ready, come back up to center, bringing a bend into your right knee. As you're ready, move your block. 
Untuck your left heel and we'll swing our hands down. This time we'll walk our left foot up to our hands. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, extend down. Sweep your arms up, bring your toes in the inside of your thighs together. Sit back into your heels and come up for chair pose. Bring your hands down into a prayer pose while we remain in chair. Close your eyes. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Come back to center and drop your hands down. Palms facing forward to Dasana. As you're ready, sweep your arms up and exhale, swan dive down. Walk your right foot to the back of the mat. Find a bend in your left knee and drop your right heel down or your right knee down. Plant your left foot and inhale, come up for a low lunge. Feel your hip flexor stretch as you stack your joints, shoulders over your hips, bring your shoulders down your back, inhale, arms up, and exhale, drop down for a cactus. Extend your chest to the sky if it's accessible for you. And when you're ready, come back to center, come out of that hinge, hands up. Plant your legs, bring your right heel and your right knee up. Plant your left, your right toes, send your left leg back. Chaturanga. And inhale into Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. Come over your toes, exhale, send your hips to the sky, Downward Facing Dog. Send your right foot up to your hands. Drop your left knee down. Plant the top of your left foot. And inhale, come up for a low lunge on this side. Feel your hip flexor stretch. Bring the calf forward, keeping your ankle and your knee stacked. Bring your hands down. Oh, not a prayer pose. Inhale, send your arms up and exhale. Come into a cactus pose. Find a mini back bend if it's accessible for you. When you're ready, inhale, come back up, drop your hands down, untuck your left knee, and walk your left foot up to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. This time I'm coming up to my knees so that I can press further from my tailbone to my crown. Bend at the knees and hinge over your thighs. Press your hands into the earth and exhale. Inhale, bring your legs together and come back into chair pose. Come down for a prayer pose while we remain sitting our hips back. Inhale, arms up and exhale, prayer pose. Close your eyes. Notice if you've let your mind wander. Bring it back to your breath. On your next inhale, open your eyes. Exhale, bring your hands down for, for Tadasana. Palms facing forward. Inhale, sweep your arms up and exhale. Swan dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale down. Walk your right foot to the back of the mat as you press into the earth. Drop your right knee down. This time, ensure that your hips and your knee are stacked. Grab your blocks if it's accessible for you and begin to walk your left foot forward. Engage the left foot by bringing the toes up and we'll come down, hinging at the hips for half splits. Ensure that your knee and your hips remain stacked Hinge from the hips, keeping your back straight from your tailbone to your crown. Walk your hands forward for your blocks to feel a little bit more of an intense stretch. 
bring your, your left foot to center to engage the right, or to engage the inner thighs of the left side. Inhale, send your left hip back, your right hip forward. Hinge further at the hips as you exhale. Begin to walk your left foot back, maybe. Stacking your left knee over your left ankle. Engage the right foot. Bring your right leg, your right knee up. Press your palms into the earth, send it back. Chaturanga. And inhale into cobra or upward facing dog. Press your feet into the earth. Come over your toes, press into the mat, send your hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Ready, send your right foot up to your hands. Drop your left heel, your left knee down. Begin to walk your right foot forward. Grab on to your blocks. And when you're ready, straighten your leg, engaging the toes for half splits. Remember to keep the left knee and your hips stacked. Walk your hands forward and feel deeper into the stretch. As always, if this isn't in your practice right now, you can go ahead and come out of the position and sit back into child pose or downward facing dog wherever your practice at is at, keep breathing. Start to walk your left foot forward, your left foot back rather, towards your body and bend at the knee. Engage the left foot and bring your left knee up. Press into the earth and send your left foot to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale down. This time we won't come up However, as you press into the earth, bend at the knees, walk your left foot behind your right and sit down into a comfortable seated position. Bring your hands to your knees. Earlier, if you had your right foot forward, go ahead and switch to your left. Whichever foot you had forward, switch to the other one. Pressing your hands into your knees, gaze up towards the sky, find a mini back bend as you arch your back just slightly. Exhale, round your back, bring your chin to your chest for a cat pose, seated cat pose. Inhale up for cow. And as you're ready, go ahead and move on your own breath. Come back to center. When you're ready, back, back towards the top of my mat. Now is a great time to bring your towel nearby. Stand your legs out and bring your palms to the earth for Tandasana, staff pose. Feel the legs engaged as your toes feel dexterous, movable, bendy. Bend your ankles a little bit and take any subtle movements that your legs want right now. Inhale, send your arms up, and exhale, bend over, hinge over your thighs. We'll only stay here for just a few more seconds. As you exhale, release back, come back to Dandasana. Inhale, walk your left foot to your thigh, walk it towards your groin, and hug it in with both arms towards your chest. Engaging the right foot, keeping your toes moving when you're ready. Inhale, send your arms up, keep balance, and exhale, bring your left hand behind you, tuck your right elbow in, and begin to look behind your body, bringing a twist onto the left side. Inhale, 
extend up, keeping your joints stacked, shoulders over your hips. Exhale, can you find just a little bit of a deeper twist? Come out of the twist and your right arm up, bring it behind you and walk your left foot. Oh, now we gotta take a counter twist on this side, I lied. Send your left arm up and we'll take the twist onto the other side. Press both feet, both hands into the right side of your mat. You can either bring, try to bring your, sh your chin to your shoulder very lightly or look back towards the back of the room. You can also find the center if that's accessible for you. Come out of the counter twist, send your arms up, plant them back, send your left leg forward in. Inhale up and exhale, hinge at the hips. Inhale up and exhale, drop both hands behind you. Walk your left, your right foot back towards your groin. Hug your right knee into your chest with both arms. Inhale, send your right arm up and bring it behind your body. Inhale, left arm up. Tuck your left elbow onto your right knee and find a stretch onto the right side. Keep your joints stacked, wrist over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Extend through the crown. This is both a chest opener and a twist. As you're ready, send your left hand up and we'll come out. Right hand up, and we'll come onto the left side, planting both of our left, both of our hands onto the left perimeter of our mat. Extend your your toes up to the sky of your left leg. Keep the left leg engaged. Keep pressing into the earth with the right right foot. Ensure that your joints are stacked. Look over your left shoulder if it's accessible, or towards the center of the room. Inhale, send your arms up, walk your left foot, your right foot out, press your palms into the earth, come back into Dandasana. Inhale, arms up, and exhale, hinge at the hips forward. Inhale, release, send your arms back up, press your palms into the earth, and begin to walk your feet back. As it's comfortable, you can go ahead and move your feet forward and begin to walk your hands back, bringing one vertebra at a time to the mat. Inhale, bring your knees to your chest and exhale, hug them in just a little bit closer. Keep breathing. Notice if you've let your mind wander and bring it back to your breath. On your next inhale, notice any parts of your body that are tense. And as you exhale, can you release them, hugging your knees in just a little bit closer. When you're ready, go ahead and move your legs inside of the hip joints, rotating them in and now out. Inhale, legs in. Exhale, let's extend them out just for a moment. Feel the stretch in your legs. Take any subtle movements you need to. Inhale, legs up. And exhale, begin to rock forward or sideways. And come into a comfortable seated position. I'm gonna look forward at the camera so you all can see me while we do this. Go ahead and bring both blocks underneath your sit bones. You bring your calves to the mat, your shins to the mat, and you sit back towards your heels. Press your palms onto your thighs and close your eyes. Remember the intention that you set today before as we begin our practice. 
bring your attention back to your breath. And as you inhale, send your arms up. Exhale, come down for a prayer pose. Press your hands together as it's comfortable. Bring your shoulders down your back. Relax the lower back, engage the lower belly, and knit the ribs in. We'll be moving into Malasana next, which is yoga squats. Keep your blocks under your feet, under your, under your hips. Open your eyes, press your palms down, and walk your left foot forward. Make sure that your blocks are stable. If you'd like to, you can come onto the bigger part of them and make more space for your hips. Keep your right knee down. Feel extension through the body. As you're ready, go ahead and plant your hands and walk your right foot out. Coming into the yoga squat, Malasana. Bring your palms together in front of heart center for a pose, pressing your knees into your elbows and your elbows back into your knees. Feel grounded through both feet, pressing all four corners of the feet into the mat. Engage the inner thighs by pressing the inner part of your feet down just a little bit more. Feel engagement. If you'd like to continue further into the Malasana, go ahead and begin to move your feet just a little bit closer together. This is about as far as I'm able to join you all. Please continue to move on. However, if you had your eyes closed, now's a great time to open them. Inhale, lift your body up. If you're here and both feet are not pressing into the earth, go ahead and come back into this the yoga squat that we had before. Wide enough to support under your knees. As you're ready, if you're joining me with the feet closer together, hinge forward at the hips and begin to drop your hands down, working them behind your body. This is about as far as I go. However, if you're continuing to move forward, inhale, extend through the top of your body and exhale, begin to move your hands further behind your back. If it's in your practice tonight, you can go ahead and move them together, bringing your hands together, or you can engage them with a yoga strap or a, or a towel. Wherever you're at, keep breathing. I'm gonna join everybody back in ankle and knee stacks yoga squat. Keep engaging your breath if you've let your mind wander. Keep your ujjayi breath going, feeling the movement of the ocean in your throat. As you're ready, say aloud with me, I belong. When you're ready, open your eyes. If you're in further into the twist and the bind with the yoga squat, go ahead and release your hands and bring them forward, walking your feet and walking your hands towards your body. Release by walking your feet out and stacking your knees over your ankles and coming back into the yoga squat as we began it. We'll press here one more time, keeping the tension between the elbows and the knees. Bring your hands to your chest if it's accessible for you. And as you're ready, go ahead and drop your hands down. Hug your right knee with your left hand and drop your left heel, your left ankle, the top of your left foot and your shin to the ground. Go ahead and do the same on the right side. Sitting back into a thunderbolt pose, stacking your hips over your blocks. Inhale, send your arms up. Exhale, bring your right hand over your left and we'll take eagle arm one more time. Touch your fingers into your right palm. Stand your left arm, up, your, your elbows up. Relax your shoulders down your back. And as you're ready, extend your hands up and we'll take it on the other side. 
left hand under, right hand over, left fingers to your right palm. Inhale, send your arms up, and exhale, bring the blocks out from underneath you. Plant your feet and walk your hands back. One vertebra, bring your back down, one vertebra at a time. Keep your legs, keep your feet on the mat. And as you're ready, bring your knees into your chest, inhaling. Exhale, hug them in closer. Inhale, bring your right knee in and drop your left foot down. If you have your towel, now's a great time to grab it. We're going to do a modified dancing Shiva on our backs. Grab your towel and make it as long as you need it to be. If you have a yoga strap, this is also a great time. Or rather, this is a great time to use that. As you're ready, wrap your right foot with your towel and press into your towel, extending your hamstring, lifting your foot to the sky, pressing into the ceiling above you. Keep left leg engaged. If it's accessible for you, you can extend your left hand out, your left arm meeting the floor. If you're ready, go ahead and begin to drop your right foot down just a little bit, whatever is accessible for you. If this is a little bit tough for you, you can bring a bend to your knee and continue down. Wherever you're at, keep breathing. I'm going to find my Shiva right here. And I'm going to look to my left, over to my left fingers. We'll stay here for a few rounds of breath. If this is challenging for you right now, you can always come out of the pose. Here I'd suggest you drive your foot down, walk both feet to your body, and then cover your knees to your chest, and stay here in a sort of cannonball pose. Go ahead and bring your gaze back up to the ceiling, bring your foot back up, extend your left arm up and grab the towel with your left arm. This time we'll take it onto the other side. Extend your right arm to the right side and bring your right foot down to the left, finding your Shiva here. Engage the lower belly and keep your left toes engaged. Bring the ribs in, shoulders down. As you're ready, bring your right foot back to center. Grab it with both hands, extend up towards the ceiling, feeling one last hamstring stretch. Find a bend in your right knee and release your towel. Hug your right knee in, feeling appreciation for yourself for that difficult maneuver. Go ahead and extend your right leg down and inhale, bring your knees to your chest. When you're ready, go ahead and extend the right leg out. Hug your left leg in. As you're ready, grab your towel. Wrap it around your left leg and extend your left foot up to the sky. Try and relax your shoulders down. When you're ready, grab the towel with your left hand, bring your right hand back down to the mat. Look over, keeping the right foot engaged start to drop your foot down to the left side, your left foot down to the left side. As I said before, if this isn't accessible for you, you can always bend your knee, or release the bind and come into bringing, in, bringing your knees into your chest. Come back to center, send your right arm up, left arm down, and we'll take our dancing Shiva onto the, bringing our left foot to the right side. Look over to your left hand. If it's accessible for you, you can bring your hand to your hip, feeling more support. Bring your shoulders down, 
extend through the hamstring, feeling a hamstring stretch. Come back to center, bring in the foot, facing the ceiling. Press up into your towel, into the ceiling, feeling all four corners touching the top, touching the roof. Find a bend in your knee and release the towel out. Drop your left foot down, walk your right foot up. Inhale, bring your knees to your chest. Exhale, hug your knees in just a little bit closer. When you're ready, drop your feet down. Bring your right leg over your left and drop your knees down to the right side. Look over to the left. If it's in your practice tonight. Extend your arms, keeping your gaze at your thumb. If this isn't in your practice tonight, you can always come in with your knees bend, bent onto the right side, feeling the same sort of stretch by bringing your left hand out. Wherever you're at, keep breathing. Inhale. Send energy to your left hip. Exhale, just relax a little bit more. Inhale, arm, left arm up. Grab your right knee and bring it back to back home. Drop your right foot down to the ground. And cross your left leg over your right. This time we'll drop our knees to the left and send our right arm out. Inhale, send the energy to your right side body. Exhale, release anything that's not serving you right now. Inhale, bring your arm back to center. Right, and set your right arm up. Grab your left knee and bring your knees back home. Come out of the bind. Drop your feet to the mat. Inhale, bring your knees to your chest and hug them in. As you're ready, go ahead and reach towards the outside of your feet and we'll come into happy baby. If you'd like to, you can move your peace fingers to wrap around your toes, binding them in with your thumb. Take any subtle movements that you need to in happy baby. Any stretches, anything else. If it feels good to cross your ankles, do that. Kick one foot up wherever you're at. Keep breathing. As you're ready, begin to walk your feet together, dropping them towards the earth, guiding your knees back and dropping your feet to the earth. I invite you to take any subtle movements and any final poses that we may not have made it to today before we begin our final pose, Shavasana. Today, I invite you to remain for Shavasana as long as you wish. As if you are in Shavasana with me, I trust, I hope you will trust that I will bring us out. If you see me lifting my body up and coming into a seated position, I invite you to remain in Shavasana as I'm just coming up to ensure the remainder of our practice today. As you're ready, Inhale and bring your arms above your body. As you exhale, drop everything down to the earth. Inhale, engage all of your body, sending your arms up. Exhaling out through the nose, drop everything down. Inhale, engage all of your muscles. Out through your mouth, drop everything down. (sighs) 
On your next inhale, walk your hands towards the sides of the body. As you exhale, start to generate a sense of relaxation, starting at the core. On your next inhale, feel the breath filling your belly, your mid chest, and your upper chest. As you exhale, begin to relax your hips, your chest, your quadriceps, your hamstrings. Fill, as you inhale, fill the belly, the chest, and the upper chest. As you exhale, find relaxation through your biceps, your triceps, and your calves. Inhale, feel movement in your wrists as the air fills your belly, your chest, and your upper chest. Your ankles still move. And as you exhale, start to find relaxation from your forearms to your ankles, your wrists. Your thumbs drop down, your pinkies extend out. Your toes stop moving and your digits all relax. Begin to lose yourself in your breath coming into Shavasana. Begin to quicken your breath, starting to generate sensations, starting at the core, moving to the hips, the chest. On your next inhale, the belly fills, the chest, and the upper chest. Start to feel movement generated in your thighs, 
to your arms, activation in your biceps and your quadriceps. Start to feel movement in your elbows and your knees. On your next inhale, start to generate more movement from your core, reverberating out towards your forearms and your calves. On your next inhale, start to generate energy moving from your core into your thumbs, your pinkies, your big toes, all your toes, and the remainder of your fingers. Inhale, send your arm above, arms above your body and out through the mouth. Drop everything down. Inhale back up. Out through the mouth. Take a stretch over the top of your body as if you're waking up for the first time today. And when you're ready, you have to walk your feet back towards your, towards your glutes and drop down to the right or the left side. As you're ready, press your palms into the earth and sit up into a comfortable seated position and join me in either this mudra or whatever feels comfortable. When you're ready, send your hands up to the sky. Exhale, bring your hands forward into prayer pose. We'll stay here for two alms. Inhale. Um. Keep your palms together in front of third eye center. The light and the teacher in me acknowledges and appreciates the light and the teacher in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Alan. If you have any questions, I'll be around for